One of the most important things you'll need to do to use algebra effectively is to be able to define your variables. Which basically means we want to identify the unknown quantities and represent them with letters. So the letters are going to represent unknown quantities or variables. Another word for unknown quantities. Look at this sentence. John is three years older than twice the age of his brother Charlie. Some, some numbers are suggested, but none are given. Uh, John's age, for example, is talked about, although not given explicitly, as is the age of Charlie. So we're going to define variables to represent those two. So I'm going to let J be John's age and C be Charlie's age. This step right here is the actual defining of the variables. We're coming up with letters that are going to represent things that we don't know. You'll note that I selected J for John's age because of the same first letter and C for Charlie's for the same reason. Uh, in general it's not required but it can be useful to pick a uh, letter that somehow uh, ties to the quantity that we're representing. It just makes it easier to keep track of things. Now that I've defined my variables, I can look back to the original sentence and see how this relates those two variables. So some key points here are John is three years older than twice the age of his brother Charlie. I am going to write an equation that's going to compare the age of the two of them. So John's age, which we're calling J, is equal to three more than twice the age of his brother Charlie. I can represent twice the age of his brother Charlie as 2 times c. Twice just means 2 times. But he's not just twice his age, he's 3 years older than that. So j is going to not equal 2c, but 2c plus 3. So now I have an algebraic equation with two variables as defined here which represents this sentence. However, this isn't something I can solve for one of these variables right now. Uh, in fact, John's age and Charlie's age could be a number of different things that could make this equation true. Let's suppose for a moment that we now get some more information. We find out that Charlie is two years old. That changes things. Now if we know that Charlie is two, we can put that back into the equation and figure out John's age. Char if Charlie's age is 2, that means c equals 2, and I can put that into this equation, and therefore j is equal to 2 times 2 plus 3. Therefore j is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3, or 7. Remember, J was just John's age, so if Charlie is 2 and the original statement holds, we can conclude that John is 7 years old. All of this becomes easy to keep track of because we could, did a good job up here of defining our variables. Thank you.